What's up guys? Games happen here and we're finally uploading a video for the news. I know it hasn't I know it's been a long time and that's only because well Bryce got GTA 5 and he's been playing it to no end. Love it. Anyway, about and uh going on with GTA 5. Have you guys realized something? In the first 3 days of launch, GTA 5 made 1 billion dollars. That's uh that's awesome. And their budget was only two it was like two hundred and sixty five million dollars. Man, are they getting someplace, huh? They're like the micros they turn wait no, that would be a bad reference. Forget I said anything. Anyway. Uh also you guys might have noticed is that we're starting to upload videos for the GTA five let's play. And go watch them. Yeah, feel free. <laughs> Anyway, uh, speaking of uh, recording, Bryce, how about you talk about that little situation we were talking about with the PS4 last time? Well, in the last news video, whenever we were talking about how PS4 might not support the game capture devices like Papage and Elgato and everything, I was, con I was pretty much concerned because we wouldn't be able to record Kingdom Hearts 3 or The Order 1886. Well, I wouldn't because those are like the two main games I'm looking for to. I'm looking for the, forward to uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. The only one looking forward to certain games, and then I'm going to get them and it'd be awesome. But anyway, Sony's... I forgot what the guy's name was. But he uh, announced at the Sony press conference, and another guy posted on Twitter that you will be able to, you'll be able to record using HDMI output and everything, which is pretty much how people do with the Xbox. Because... You know, PS3 can't support HDMI with HDCP. But long story short, uh, apparently what they weren't planning on letting you record the, on PS4. Because at the end of the guy's tweet, he was like, uh, further directions or further uh, information will follow. So apparently there's going to be like a list of restrictions. Hopefully it's not too long. Like you can't record... A, game within the first week of it being out or you can't, you can't record audio or something I don't know but I mean, it would actually be way better for people to do let's plays on games because I mean, how many let's plays have you seen okay I'll put it this way if it weren't for Yodi Slayer doing a let's play of Dead Island I would have never got it so that's like another 50 or 60 dollars that Deep Silver's made off of me because somebody did a Let's Play of it. And just imagine if they would stop that. How many people would not get a game? So, yeah. so what we're trying to say is that uh, Let's Plays inspire people to buy video games. So in other words, they should start allowing us to record Let's Plays. And they say uh, posting Let's Plays on YouTube is pretty much copyright, copywriting or whatever. But... I mean, you can't really experience a game unless you have the controller in your hand and you're actually playing it. I mean, I thought Dead Island was, like, one of the best games I've ever seen, and I played it, and it was okay, but it wasn't as good as Jody Slay made it out to be. I don't know, I guess that's just me. Another thing, I have a question. Did GTA V actually kill Cobb without even trying? Because ever since GTA V came out, I'm sub to 70 people on YouTube. And there's only three or four people that still post Call of Duty. Everybody else either posts GTA or Battlefield or something else. If GTA managed to kill Call of Duty, it just feels like GTA is like one of the big dogs in gaming. Because, I mean, everybody's excited for Call of Duty almost every year, or at least they used to be. I can understand why nobody is now, because I'm not even excited for it. But, I lost my train of thought. So we're going to move on. How many, peop How many people are uh, actually excited for Ghost? None. You, by this time last year, you couldn't. I could not find somebody that wasn't excited for Ghost that was not you. I'm never excited for COD. <laughs> I know you don't like Call of Duty, you don't have to hide it. Oh, I'm not hiding it. <laughs> anyway, well, I hate Call of Duty. Anyway, <laughs> um, on to the next segment. AC4. Yeah, 
It's not even a segment, it's just Mylan's question on who's getting it. Well, excuse me. Anyway. Why you no get AC4? <laughs> how many people are going to get AC4? And for those who don't know what AC4 is, we live in a cave. It's Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed 4 Black Oh, and another thing. I want to record Watch Dogs, if I ever get the chance. Will you ever buy it? For the PS4, maybe. I'll have to get a shitload of money. We're broke. Anyway, for interrupting me. Sorry. Anyway, how many of you guys are actually looking forward to AC4? I'm not saying I'm looking forward to it, because... I was kind of disappointed by AC3, but I might decide to pick it up for Christmas. Who knows? I would get it, but my gaming wish list is a little too long for AC4. Like, it's a little long for Watch Dogs, too, but, I mean, Watch Dogs looks really good. Yeah, it does. But, uh, we've wasted you guys' time long enough. Remember, please, please share, and please, please watch the let's play of gta 5. no it's not a let it's a let's play because there's no commentary but please watch it anyway it's either get four videos out a day with no commentary or get one video out a day with commentary you realize how long it take to get 70 vi uh, videos out you know how crappy your commentary is you know how crappy yours is you know how much better mine is compared to yours i'm done <laughs>